Left to their own devices, Meg, Tom and Daniel will happily spend several hours on their devices. I do use texting. I text my friends. And do you text a lot? Um, no, not really. I enjoy playing with, with my brother and beating him. The phone is going. Whose phone is that? My gun. Is it a text? Yeah. <laughs> This is Meg, Tom and Daniel's school. Most of the children here have access to tablets and play a lot of games. Um, I play time killer games a lot on my iPad just to pass the time. On school nights probably about two hours and then on the weekends about six hours. On my phone I just tend to text my friends and that's, I do that quite a lot actually. So who have you chosen? Mr Stott, the headmaster here, encourages his students to be computer savvy from a young age. But when the school did a survey of technology use at home, the results alarmed him. In Year 5, 70% of children use handheld devices for more than one hour a day. Every week, high users read up to two hours less than low users. High users are more likely to play age-inappropriate games. High users are more likely to use handhelds at mealtimes and family outings. The results uh, that we've looked at in our small sample would suggest, particularly for reading, that those children who are, are spending a lot of time on screens and tablets uh, are not making the progress that we would hope for in reading when we look at their reading ages. Mr Stott issued a challenge. Could his students survive with no technology, no computer games at home for a week? I really enjoyed it actually because my whole family did it, so it was quite enjoyable. I think it changed me as a person because I'm not, I wasn't attached to them as much so I could talk to my family and spend more time with them. Meg, Tom and Daniel also did the week-long digital detox. They ended up playing board games and even talking to each other. This is just one experiment by one school, but it does raise questions about the impact of technology on a child's education, their reading, their social skills. Graham Satchel, BBC News.